Ui shoi runbao pendo. I ti shimoi lehi dichmaskina belos bobao. I mi bashasnu lo shmaverpa. One of the examples from the last video contained a quantifier. Nomlatu shu mupli lohimlatu. No cat is the leader of a set of cats. The shmavo no is the quantifier or digit zero. Nomlatu just means zero cats. But wait a minute, didn't we say that mlatu by itself isn't a sumti and it needs something like le or lo to turn it into a sumti? Well, quantifiers also turn a celebri into a sumti, basically with an implied lo. No lo mlatu shumupli lohi mlatu. This new sumti is called a quantified sumti because it contains a quantity. Here are the numbers 0 through 9. So now we can say things like one cat, two cats, three cats, and so on. And what if you needed to talk about 10 cats? Well, by default, numbers are base 10, so you would just say 1, 0, or pano. Pano mlatu is 10 cats. And you count like this until 1,000, and then you can use pa kiho. 1,001 is just pa kiho pa. A million is pa kiho kiho. And 1,001,000 1, is pa kiho pa kiho. In effect, kiho is a thousand separator, but you don't have to stick zeros in there. <laughs> but you don't have to stick to particular numbers. Ro can mean each, all, or every. So ro mlatu means all cats, or maybe each cat, or every cat. There are also inexact quantifiers. The series soha, sohe, sohi, soho, sohu means almost all, most, many, several, and a few. There's also noho, the usual amount, rao, enough, duhe, too many, and moha, too few. Duhe mlatu shuhabju le kumazda. Too many cats live in the apartment. And finally, there are some quantifiers which are comparisons. Suho followed by a quantifier means at least that many, and without a quantifier it just means at least one. Suho remlatu shuhabju le kumizda. At least two cats live in the apartment. Suho mlatu shuhabju le kumizda. At least one cat lives in the apartment. At least one can also be translated as some, so some cats live in the apartment, or even as a number of cats live in the apartment. Suhe means at most, and without a quantifier it means at most one. Zahu means more than, and without a quantifier it means more than one. Mehi means less than, but without a quantifier it means less than all, or not all, so Mehi mlatu shuhekri mlatu. Not all cats are black cats. Daha means all except one. Jihi means approximately, and you do need to follow it by a quantifier. So, jihi pare mlatu shuhabju le kumizda. Around a dozen cats live in the apartment. And then there's infinity, shihi. So, Shihi mlatu shuhabju le kumizda. An infinite number of cats lives in the apartment. You can even use quantifiers as prosumpti. Shi do shuhabju le kumizda. Three of you live in the apartment. Although this doesn't make much sense. Shi mi shuhabju le kumizda. Three of me live in the apartment. Now we can see what happens when we use a quantifier before le. She lemlatu shuhabju le kumizda. Three of the cats live in the apartment. We can also put the quantifier inside. Le she mlatu shuhabju le kumizda. The three cats live in the apartment. And now it should also be clear what happens when we have two quantifiers, one inside and one outside. She le mu mlatu shuhabju le kumizda. Three of the five cats live in the apartment. 
role mu mlatu shuhabju le kumasta. All of the five cats live in the apartment. Now, I mentioned earlier that a quantifier by itself implicitly uses lo as the gadri. She lo mlatu shuhabju le kumasta. Three cats live in the apartment. But what about a quantifier inside lo? Lo shi mlatu shuhabju le kumasta. This also happens to mean the same thing. Apparently, there is a subtle difference between shi lo mlatu and lo shi mlatu, but it's a bit esoteric to go into here. And if you're interested, there is a link down below in the description. Although I've said that lo is like English a, uh, in English this kind of implies one. With lo, the number is actually unspecified, so it could be a cat or just cats in general, as in minelshi lomlatu, I like cats. Lomlatu shuhabju le kumasda, cats live in the apartment. If you really want to specify one and only one, then you can just say pamlatu shuhabju le kumasda, one cat lives in the apartment which is the same in English as a cat lives in the apartment. Now let's talk about ordinals, things like first cat and second cat. The shmavo moi is an affix that converts a number into this specific selbri. x1 is the numberth among x2. So to say the first cat, we could trot out poi to create a relative phrase, as in lemlatu poi pamoi Shuhabju le kumasda, the cat which is first, lives in the apartment. But I'd like to show you another powerful shmavo, be. This allows you to bind sumti to the selbri that is at the core of a sumti. Let me explain this by an example. Suppose we fill in the x2 place of pamoi so that we have x1 is the first among the cats, pamoi lemlatu. Now, I can't just convert this to a sumta using le, because as we've seen before, the parser would just see this as two separate sumti. But if I put be after pamoi, le pamoi be lemlatu, this means that we're linking the next sumti to the previous selbri. If we want to tack on further sumti for pamoi, we use be because if we used be instead, that would link the following sumti to mlatu. And to terminate the linking, we can use beho. So, le pamoi be le mlatu beho shuhabju le kumasda. The first cat lives in the apartment. Now, we can safely leave beho out because shu cuts off sumti from the selbri, which would implicitly terminate the be links as well. Le pamoi belemlatu shuhabju le kumasda. How about saying the first of the three cats lives in the apartment? Easy. Le pamoi bele shimlatu shuhabju le kumasda. The first of the three cats lives in the apartment. We can say last using romoi, which literally means off. Le romoi bele shimlatu shuhabju les dabartu. The last of the three cats lives outdoors. Le romoi bele shimlatu shus dabartu mlatu. The last of the three cats is an outdoor cat. Finally, let's circle back to the numbers themselves. Remember that pano means ten, but there's another zhbovla that also means ten, dekto x1 is 10 of x2. And with be, we can use this to say tens of cats. Lo dekto belomlatu shuhabju le kumasda. Tens of cats live in the apartment. Lo chesto belomlatu shuhabju le kumasda. Hundreds of cats live in the apartment. And if you want to say exactly 100 cats, Pa lo chesto belomlatu shuhabju le kumasda. One hundred cats live in the apartment. Or maybe not exactly one hundred cats. Jihi pa lo chesto belomlatu shuhabju le kumasda. 
around 100 cats live in the apartment. And now here are some really big numbers. Ro Tarsohime Shuselpao Jihi Panono Logigdo Belotarshi. Each galaxy consists of around 100 billion stars. Ije Jihi Renono Gigdo Lotarsohime. And there are around 200 billion galaxies. I Serihabo Jihi Reno Zetro Lotarshi. Therefore, there are around 20 sextillion stars. Uhu Sesrera. Thanks once again to Keldwick Chaldane for pointing this error out from the last video. I had some examples of saying my name. My name is Robert. Miselshme la Robert. In fact, what this means is that I am named the thing named Robert. Instead, I needed to use a Lojban quote. My name is Robert. Miselshme zo Robert. Zo is a shmavo that quotes the next word. So what I'm saying here is that I am named, quote, Robert. Alternatively, I can use du, which is a celebrity, meaning x1 is identical with x2. Mi du la Robert. This means that I am identical with the thing named Robert. So he gigdo. But wait a minute. Didn't we say that 